Hello heart seekers and nature lovers. Welcome back to Miss Kiani. I'm Karen Wyman, a pumper myself, who's been sharing with you about Pachamama. So this is part two. If you've missed part one, you might want to go and watch that first because this will continue from where I ended. So we've been talking about Pachamama and if it's a topic that has called you and you're curious about, please subscribe to my channel so that you can know about other videos that I load and um, begin to learn more about this beautiful, beautiful path that, that we can easily travel and access through nature if we just know how. So, where was I when I finished part one? I was saying, what happens if I were to tell you that there is a way to directly engage with Pachamama, directly, not walk on her, not look at her, not just something that is out there that we are separate from what happens if you have new ways to engage fully with her what happens if there were practices i could teach you that would open up communication with her so that she could guide you so that you could open up to an abundance because the more you open up to her the more energy will start to flow through your body and the more magnetic you become and you can start to manifest the things you want. Never mind that Pachamama starts to bring us what we need in life, but that she begins to bring us a lot more energy. We begin to rejuvenate. We rejuvenate our bodies. We begin to rejuvenate our life force so that we have a lot more energy than we've ever known before. We begin to heal because of this. Um, we begin to release any heaviness that we are carrying, you know, especially during times of pandemic. But you know, we've all gathered heaviness throughout our lives from all kinds of experiences and traumas and things that we've been through. And we may work with them on a mental level, but we don't release the energy of it. And this is a way of releasing. So it brings, these practices bring a lot of transformation. So people start to transform within themselves, but also they start to transform the world around them. And then also have impact on the people who are around them. So we can affect our communities. And of course, as we go through these changes and this transformation, we raise our own consciousness, yes? And we can begin to raise the consciousness of the people around us. They get curious about what we're doing <laughs> and how, right? But also, as we raise our consciousness, you know, as pioneers, right? As we pioneer our way forward and we raise, and the more of us that learn this, we raise everybody's boats up on the same lake. We raise the waters, we raise consciousness. And so we start to affect the planet. And so more and more people start to wake up and be attracted to, to what's going on with nature. And so it just ripples and ripples and ripples. And why the Andeans held these practices for so many years that would be needed, because these are the answers to bringing our planet back to a place of health and vibrancy and um, oneness for all of us, yes? So, you know, learning about Pachamama is not, is something that, you know, I could, you know, tell you a step-by-step -step guide, you know, you'd probably get it in your head, but getting it into your body, that is what makes this the most profound path and tradition. So, as I said earlier on in the last video, this is an oral tradition. Nothing is written down for a reason. We've got to learn about Pachamama through all the avenues, all the parts of who we are, not just our heads. In fact, what ends up happening as people come and do my workshops uh, and learn about um, Pachamama is the head is usually the last thing <laughs> that starts to understand what or who Pachamama is. We begin to feel her in our bodies. We feel our heart call us to her, to feel her energy, to, to, to tune into the pulse of who Pachamama is. And our heads have to keep up with, what is this? I don't understand it. How does this come together? We've got to learn all these pieces of the puzzles together to bring it together. So it is a journey that we have to go on. We have to learn it step by step. We have to embody it. We have to learn practice at a time. It's like layer upon layer upon layer that begins to weave this together. You know, and learning about Pachamama on her own is also not really um, appropriate because 
Pachamama is part of one large weaving of life, right? So what starts to happen is as people learn about Pachamama, so we start to learn about all the other things that make up this huge cosmovision, this huge cosmology that we are part of. So, um, as we begin to build this relationship with Pachamama, the best way that I can impart the wisdom that I have learned from Pachamama, the experiences that I've had, and begin to show you how to do this. It's not difficult, but it takes time, and it takes one layer at a time, yes? And so, you know, I, I watched over the years how, you know, people would go into all this energetic stuff and transmissions and initiations with Pachamama, but nobody had tools to deal with what would happen. And so I created this specific module so that everything would become practical and grounded that would journey with us as we learn about the other layers of this cosmos that we are part of. And so, I have put together a module, it's called the Pachamama Workshop. It can be done on its own, it can be done as the PACO program, which is over 10 months. Uh, you can choose. Some people like to do the one and then they're drawn to the others. Some people just do the one and that's that. The beautiful thing about these practices that I'm telling you is that once you have learned them, they will support you for the rest of your life. Once you have opened that door to Pachamama, it is open. And so it's not something that has to be taught again and again. You just need to do this once and she will take you from there. <laughs> so a lot of people do my year program, the, the 10 month program, the PACO program. And of course, we're in times where uh, people feel like that's just too long to commit to. And that's why I've, I've taken the section out. Uh, it is what we learn first on the year program. Pachamama, we have to know how to work with her before we can know anything else. So the Pachamama workshop is seven weeks long and on this program it is very practical. Yes, so we are going to learn one practice, one layer at a time so that by the time you come out of it you have specific tools that you will be able to use to go and build your own relationship with Pachamama. Yes. So, along this journey of seven weeks, we are going to learn all these different practices to engage with Pachamama. We're going to learn how to communicate with her. We're going to learn how to listen. We're going to learn how to open our senses. We're going to learn how to ground in her. We're going to learn how to release heaviness to heal and transform ourselves. We are going to learn um, how to rejuvenate our life force. We're going to um, learn how to be very centered and connected and aligned with Pachamama and all the energies that she holds with all three worlds. What are those? Yes. Um, and as I said earlier on, we can't just learn about her on her own. And so we learn a lot of things with it. It's a very rich course. This You're going to learn about the three different worlds, the three different power centers. You're going to learn about your belts. What are those? Um, you're going to learn about the different layers of consciousness that we journey through and how we can tap into them and work with them and Pachamara and how she guides us. In a way she will just take you on that journey whether you want to or not but it's nice for our minds to understand as we travel. Um, there is a balance between the head and the heart. It is not about living only in the heart center. It is also about helping our brains to come along with us. Our heads are not meant to dominate or control. That is something that happens from our heart centers and from our feminine sides and through Pachamana, yes? But our minds are very, very um, intelligent, yes? They know how to set intention. They know our brain is a great slave. We have to learn how to work with that and to find the balance. And we begin that process when we do the Pachamama workshop. And of course, we learn about the different nature beings that are out there, just to begin to know. So there is a lot of knowledge that gets imparted on this first module. And like I say, it's the foundation for the PACO program, for the year program, for those people who really want to learn a lot more, but it's not a prerequisite. The Pachamama workshop is the most wholesome program um, out of everything. 
So if you feel drawn, if this has brought up lots of questions, please ask below uh, in the comments. I will respond to you where I can. Um, if you're curious about the workshop, please go to my website at um, www.miskiani.com. You go to the workshop page, you'll see the, the Pachamama workshop is there. There's a lot of information about what is in that. Um, obviously, all the information about the Paco program. Um, if you have more questions, you can email me, contact me through my website. I will put all the links below to any of the other, to part one of this video, if you happen to miss it. Um, and of course, subscribe to this channel if you want to know more. I look forward to sharing beautiful, beautiful information with you and ways of being that we have forgotten. Um, yes, and getting to know you. Bye for now.